Method number two to construct an hexagon. First step is to draw a horizontal line, random length. Next step is to identify the center point. I wish my center to be here. Label that point zero. Step two, open your compass to the length of the side given. In this case, it's 50 millimeters. With O as center, draw a circle. Now that you have done that, at the point where the circle meets the line that you have drawn, label that point A. Using the same radius that you use to draw the circle, you use A as center, describe an arc on the circumference. At the point where the arc cuts the circumference, use that point as center, describe the next arc. Continue scribing arcs around until you get all six sides. If your arc doesn't end up where it starts, then there's an error somewhere. At some point in time, your radius would have shifted. The next step is to label B, C, D, E, point F. And the final step is to join A to B, B to C, C to D, all the way around. A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E. E to F, F back to A. It's important to note that your your line should start at the point where the line meets and ends at this point right here. At the intersection, that's where the line is to be drawn, at the point where the arc and the circle meets. I have seen student join these lines from the end of the arc right here. That, that is totally incorrect. Totally incorrect. Let's move on to the third method for constructing an hexagon when giving the length of one side. The first method is to for this method, we'll be using a 60-30 set square to draw the hexagon. 60-30 set square. So the first step is to draw a horizontal line. Horizontal line. From this line, measure the length of our side AB, which is 50 millimeters. Identify starting point A. From A, measure 50 millimeters. Label that point B. The next step is to use your set square and your 6 to 30 set square. Your T square and your 6 to 30 set square. Um, so we set your set square like this. And we draw a construction line here. Rotate your set square like this. Draw line number two. That's the first step. 
I will be extending my line a bit. The next step is to measure, is to mark off 50 millimeters on both lines. So there is my 50. Here is my 50. Next step is to slide my set my T square up a bit and draw the next line. Please note the alignment of the set square relative to the base. This random length line. Then rotate my set square. Please note it is a 60 degree angle that you are to use. This can only be done using the 60 30 set square. Then I extend this side a bit. In your case, your set square would be long enough to draw that line. Next step, again I check to ensure that this is the length I want it to be. From here, I mark my 50. On this line, I also mark my 50. At the point where both arcs meet, or I could have marked one, then carry this across. The next step is to go through and brighten up the figure. that using my bright color marker That's it. That's how we draw hexagon using a 60-30 set square.